All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking about uh, dark, depressing, bleak music and doing it in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. All right, before I go dark, depressing, I'm I'm just going to show folks what's on the charts right now. Because if, you know, look, we have to laugh, right? We can go back and listen to all the music that we grew up listening to. And then people can say, oh, look at the boomer. <laughs> look at look at the geezer trying to justify his existence right now. Well, maybe I am. Maybe I'm lamenting the fact that music today kind of sucks. Um, this doesn't suck. This is Jack Tempchin. You know, Jack, peaceful, easy feeling, slow dancing, swaying to the music. You know, Jack. Jack is a great songwriter. We belong to the city, right? Um did a lot of stuff with Glenn Fry, the late great Glenn Fry, who when you see this list, imagine like Smuggler's Blues, which was a big song on rock stations, just being played next to any of the songs I'm going to talk about. Anyway, this album is called More or Less. Jack's voice is is going to be a little jarring when you listen to it, but um, I got used to it and then I started to really appreciate the entire album. So again, um, just good stuff. And he's a great songwriter. I think he is in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. That's what he looks like, in case you don't know. Um, he's got one foot up, just kicking back. And this is that kind of album. Very laid back. Lots of great instrumentation. Jeff Larson, who I've been talking about this summer, he, I think, co-produced this and did a lot of stuff, backing vocals. Um, just that's the kind of music I like to listen to, all right, for the most part. I like other things, but at this part of my life, that's what I tend to appreciate. I don't want to have my ears bleed. Speaking of having your ears bleed, time to do a screen share. This screen share brought to you by the folks over at iHeartRadio who compiled this list for us. For us. So here they are. Um, here is this great list, and um, I'm just going to read bands and titles. And then even without listening to this stuff, you can kind of see where things have gone. It's really depressing. I mean, there was always, you know, one or two dark tunes back in the day, you know, among the list of, I don't know how many songs, mostly over on the rock side of things, not usually on top 40. Um, there may be thoughtful and somewhat introspective kind of things on the top 40, but typically not doom and gloom and carnage and negativity. And just by band names and song titles, you're going to see how bad this is right now. First band is called Flat Black and A Bit of Lightning, which is not as depressing as the rest of the list. The Warning is next with Hell You Call a Dream. Okay. Plush is next, not to be confused with the Stone Temple Pilots hit. This appears to be a girl band, and the song is called Run. Next is Finger Eleven. Don't know what that's all about. Uh, the song is called Adrenaline. Just Adrenaline. Dead Poet Society is next, and their song is called Hurt. Hurt. <laughs> next is Poppy and New Way Out. Looking for a new way out, Poppy. And these are songs that are climbing the charts, as you can see by the little green arrow going up. <laughs> the next is Rain City Drive. Seems like a very dark place to live on Rain City Drive. The song, Medicate Me. Medicate Me. At least they're just telling you they need medication. All right. Pop Evil, the band, and What Remains. Not sure what remains, but Pop Evil is the band. Next is Oni and the song called Control. Sure, that's not a Janet Jackson cover. Uh, sorry. Royal Lynn is next, and the song, Death Witch. Death Wish, featuring Danny Warsnop. So, if you want to go listen to Death Wish, 
you've got to listen to Royal Lynn featuring Danny Warsnop. Um, Jack White is next. This seems like a little break, but he wants to know that's how I'm feeling, or he's telling you that's how he's feeling. Probably depressed. Um, Shallow, Shallow Side is next uh, with their song Filters. One word titles are kind of big these days. Uh, featuring Elias Soriano. Next is Highly Suspect. <laughs> this list is Highly Suspect. And their hit song, Plastic Boxes. I want to be a DJ. So I could say, here comes the Plastic Boxes next. Right after the news, sports and weather. Uh, of course, they don't do that stuff anymore. Finally, I found a band I liked on the list right here. Uh, Dirty Honey. And their song, Don't Put Out the Fire, which I've heard, and it's good. It's good. So you got one. But notice, notice something about this. There's no bullet. The song is stalled out at number 27. The other song's on their way up. Dirty Honey, nope, not going anywhere. Smashing Pumpkins are back. Oh, boy. I'm really excited about this. Uh, can't pronounce this word, so I'm not going to even say it, but I'm sure it's a great song. Um, you can't have a current mainstream rock top 40 without five finger death punch. And their song called this is the way, because if you want to have a song on these charts, they're demonstrating to you that this is the way to do it. Um, the song is losing its mojo though. At number 25, uh, Jerry Cantrell is next with a song called vilified. A lot of one word titles, uh, Scott Stapp. Not sure who Scott Stapp is, but he's got the black butterfly as opposed to a colorful, normal-looking butterfly. Um, the next band is called Set It Off, and their tune, Fake Ass Friends. <laughs> yeah, they're complaining about those. <clears throat> next is Bad Flower, not Good Flower. Um so you had the Black Butterfly here, and then you have the band Bad Flower, and their song is about Detroit. Okay, well, cool. Um, Kitty is next. Looks like an all-girl group. Kitty, that's cute. We are shadows. <laughs> just, they're just walking around as shadows. They're not real people. <clears throat> now, I told folks that Molly Crew would hit the mainstream rock top 40 with Dogs of War, and they did because it sounds like a mainstream rock song from today. And so for a few weeks, they got some airplay. Uh, they don't have an album to support this. So um, maybe they got a few extra streams of this. I'm sure they did, but they made a song that fit in with today. This is not your Motley Crue of 1988. And of course, Pearl Jam is on here because grunge never goes out of style when it comes to the current mainstream rock sound, because the current sound is similar to the sound of 30 years ago. All right, and their song is called Wreckage. That's positive, Wreckage is up next. Miles Kennedy, who isn't bad, all right? Um, if I went and listened to this, it might be listenable, I don't know, Say What You Will is the name of the song. Now this is weird. J.D. Vance is weird. Hardy, who I think is a country dude, has a song on the rock charts called Psycho. See, I guess when you have open borders, musically speaking, you know, anybody can just walk in. It's like, yeah, this is kind of a rock song. So people will like this over on the rock charts because nothing has identity to it anymore. Uh, so the song is called Psycho, so it, it's fitting well with the one-word titles, uh, but not as good as Dorothy, and there's Dorothy, and the song Mud. <laughs> Up next on W Depressing, or K Depress, is Hardy with Psycho, followed by Mud by Dorothy. Oh, <laughs> and if you weren't thoroughly depressed after Psycho and Mud... You've got The Funeral Portrait up next with their hit song, Suffocate City, featuring S. Charnis. 
So the funeral portrait and Suffocate City. And if that wasn't depressing enough, next up, Fame on Fire with their song Nightmare the Devil. And if that wasn't depressing enough, up next, Black Veil Brides and their song called Bleeders. Bleeders. What? Uh, Tim Montana, who has a nice friendly name. I'm sure the record label probably got on him for that. Can't you brand yourself as something really evil? Well, he's got a song out called Savage. So look look at this. Look at this. Let's let's recap. So you let's start with we got Psycho at 16, Mud at 15, Suffocate City at 14, Nightmare at 13, Bleeders at 12, Savage at 11. Oh, and then Stained ruins it. They ruined it with better days. Now, that's because you got Aaron Lewis in here. And again, I'm not a fan of the band Stained, but um, they messed up. People are moving along into the world of deep, dark depression, and Stained had to screw it up. Uh, next is A Day to Remember, and their song called Feedback. Okay. Uh, Bring Me the Horizon. Top 10 statues that cried blue. Top 10 statues. Is that the actual name of the song? <laughs> All right. Getting back on track here. Seether and Judas Mind. Sleep Theory and Fallout. Hailstorm. Can you see me in the dark? Falling in reverse all my life. Oh, and Daughtry is on here. Daughtry, who at one point uh, was rumored, rumored, you know, I start rumors on this channel all the time, rumored, although it was reported, I was just hypothesizing about Neil Sean. I'm sorry, Neil. Um, so Daughtry and his song Pieces. Offspring is next. Of course, you can't have a top 40 without the offspring or just offspring. And make it all right. They're trying to tell people to make it all right. It's just not right, so make it all right. Finally, at number one, Wage War. <laughs> and their song called Magnetic. Look at all the one-word titles, seriously. Magnetic, Pieces, Fallout, Feedback, Savage, Bleeders, Nightmare, Mud, Psycho, Wreckage, Detroit, vilified, this word, whatever it is, it's just, it's crazy. Control, I mean, like hurt, adrenaline, run. Is, is this good songwriting, you think? Is this really good song? Is this upbeat, happy? I mean, this list is crazy. It's crazy. It's depressing just reading this. It's like, yeah, I try to start my day with like a daily devotion of some kind, something upbeat and optimistic to make me not feel depressed. I feel depressed after doing this video. Well, bottom line is that is today's current mainstream rock scene. And these songs are, I hope, going to be forgotten about in 10 years. But maybe the people who, quote-unquote, grew up listening to them will hold on to them. Why you'd want to hold on to this angst and depression and misery? I don't know. I, I don't understand it. And this is why rock and roll as a genre, as a medium, is it's dying out. And you've got radio stations collectively just signing on to all of this BS and just, yeah. You want to get a song on our radio station? Have a look and be really depressing. Don't play a lot of chords. Don't be complicated. Just be dark and annoying, and you'll get on the radio. So anyway, here's a guy who wrote great songs for the radio back in the day and is still writing really great music today. His name is Jack Temchin, and it's called More or Less. And... Uh, this whole thing just makes me depressed because uh, imagine what it's going to be like in another 10 or 20 years. Just we're already in a bad place. How much worse can it get?